Aries, this is your November reading. So let's find out what is the main energies for you in November. And I'm going to be breaking this reading down into so many different parts and different sections. I'm going to be looking at the energy of the your 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 reading. I'm going to be checking where your focus is going to be or where it should be. Checking if there's any issues or challenges that you need to know about looking into people around you, looking into life, and then I want to see a bit further than just November. Where are we going? You know what I mean? So let's get started. And do remember, Aries, if you would like to subscribe to the channel and you haven't yet done so, or if you do resonate with me as well and you'd like to subscribe, please do, don't forget. Um, if you have been here before, thank you so much for being here one more time. Okay, let's get going. Let's see what's going on with you here. Okay, you're moving into a very lucky cycle. That's all I can say. I've got to go into each one of these cards, but the first card coming out is luck is on your side, and that is new moon in Sagittarius energy. So this can be, because it's new moon, this is something new coming into your energy. Um, you, I feel like you're moving into a time where you are going to be very lucky in some kind of way. I actually want to get the tarot cards out already for you. Um, the luck is on your side energy. Because we see a bow and arrow there, and you know, Sagittarius people are not very really patient people, okay, and they like things to happen like now. I feel like this could be something coming in pretty, pretty quickly for you, something coming in very quickly. This might also be like an opportunity that is coming in that you may need to like make a decision about, okay. And it's almost like a spur of the moment uh, decision that you need to make. You need to know like it's on your side, okay? So um, this may also be involving <coughs> a financial gain, okay? So let's get going and see, yep. Okay, oh boy. Aries, hello, hello. This involves financial gain. Oh my God goodness oh my goodness wow wow my mind is actually like this is a very abundant reading it's going to solve so many problems that you're having right now um first of all the luck is on your side we have got seven of hearts coming in here, which is seven of cups in the tarot. There is a decision you need to make. The decision that you need to make, I feel like it's an opportunity um, with the luck is on your side. An opportunity is rocking up for you here in the month of November. And I almost feel like it's like, what do I do here? Do I move into this or do I not move into this? Because you've got a page of uh, pentacles coming in. In this deck, it is the princess of pentacles. Um, this is an opportunity to make some money. It is an opportunity to change the direction of how you are making money currently right now in your life. Um, I feel like you're deciding, like, should I do this? And that's the main energy I'm like, I need to decide, should I do this? To bring the love into the situation. Also, a new moon energy, okay? Which is tied to something new coming in that is in Aquarius. This might be an unusual way to make money. Um, and again, you've got like this pay, the, pay, the, the Knight of Pentacles, which is the Prince of Pentacles, and the Ace of Pentacles in this area of your reading. So this could be something that you're even excited about or maybe interested in doing. This is movement forward towards what this is. You've literally got a page and a knight and an ace of pentacles in this part of your focus. So you could be going, okay, I might have to go for what this is. And that bring love into the situation is you might feel like you've been pulled to do so. It's like when you're falling in love with somebody, you don't really have much control. And you're kind of like, oh, am I falling in love with this person? Good grief. What now? You know what I mean? And it's almost like you're falling in love with this, this opportunity, this direction that you can go in. And it's like you've, the more you think about it and the more you kind of sit with it, the more you're just kind of falling into it. You know what I mean? I, um, to be honest with you, feel like I do think you will go into this direction. Uh, your challenge here is full moon in Virgo. Uh, and it says you are good enough. So I want to talk about this a little bit here. You, the full moon energy is tied to something that you need to release. And it shows up here 
as the Eight of Cups or the Seven of Cups in this part of the reading. Sorry, the Eight of Hearts, which is the Eight of Cups in this reading. So you are good enough and this is your challenge. So it's like you need to let go of the fact that you're not good enough to do what it is you need to do. You need, this is full moon, release energy, let go, eight of cups. You need to let go of this feeling that if I move in this new direction, what if I don't get it right? What if I can't do this? What if I, I'm not good enough? What if I make a fool of myself? All of that, because let me tell you, you are not going to do that, Aries, at all. you got a ten of pentacles in your reading. You've got a page, a knight, an ace, and a ten of pentacles in your reading. Can you get this right? Say with me, yes, yes, I can. I am not only going to get it right, I'm going to be brilliant at this. Brilliant. People around you, you've got communication is key. <clears throat> I feel like this is tied to, with Gemini in your reading as well, people around you and this decision that you're going to be making. And this is new moon in Gemini. So you've got that new, we're moving into this new thing, moving into this new thing. I feel like you have to understand that not everybody is going to be on board with your choice or your decision. You may encounter a little bit of conflict. <coughs> Excuse me, guys, I'm recovering from a bit of cold here. Um, a bit of a conflict with regards to other people going, well, you're going to do what? Oh, I'm going to do this and this and this, and I'm doing A, B, and C or whatever. And they're going to be like, don't do that. And you're going to be like, yes, but it's my path, not your path, okay? Um, because whatever this is, this is going to happen very, very quickly. I think you're not giving them with the Eight of Wands like an opportunity to dissuade you or change your mind. I feel like you're just telling them what you're doing. And even though they go, don't do it, you're going to be like, bye, I'm doing it anyway. You know what I mean? So it's almost like a move through energy. They're just going to be like, there you go. And they're going to be like, oh my God, you know what I mean? Um, yeah. And then the energy around you is your commitment is being tested. You will be fine, okay? I have to look this side because the light is shining straight on the cards. I can't see. So first of all, your commitment is being tested. First quarter moon. The first quarter moon is quite far from the full moon. This is the beginning. It's not the new moon. The new moon moves into first quarter moon. So the first quarter is being revealed. And it's like you're on your way now. You're going there. Don't expect results overnight. But get to that ten of pentacles, you will. Um, and the seven of wands shows up here. You will be just fine, first of all. The seven of wands means whatever you're doing, there may be competition. There may be, it may be like, okay, how do I get this right? Am I going to be okay? Am I going to manage? Is It may be a little bit complicated and everything is. Everything is the seven of wands. Everything. Okay, when I started my YouTube channel, there was seven of wands all over the place. I was like, what's that? What's this? What's wrong with my camera? Why is my phone not recording? Why can't I upload this video? What is going on with this? And I was like confused. But I kept on following my heart. I kept on doing what my heart was telling me. And that's what they're asking you to do. What does your feelings tell you with the Empress? What is your heart telling you with the Empress? The heart is saying, move forward, keep going, do what you need to do, follow your intuition, keep following what it is that you need to be doing, and then move forward in that direction. This direction that you are moving in, let me tell you something. In the next couple of months to come, it is going to help you in so many different ways in your life. A personal issue reaches resolution. So if you're dealing with financial problems, and that is full moon in cancer, something that you're currently dealing with now, maybe the money is not balancing, you know, your career doesn't feel safe, um, life is not where you want it to be, you're not happy where you are. This direction that you move in is going to like literally solve some problem that comes in here. You're going to step into the King of Pentacles. That is you. You are the King of Pentacles. You are in this life where you are now strong. The King of Pentacles lives in the Ten of Pentacles, okay? And he's the one who took the journey, right, from the Princess of uh, Pentacles, the Prince of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles. You're that person and that journey 
is what makes you so wise, makes you so strong. With the Hierophant coming in here, that is the wisdom that you're going to be gaining here. We've got Taurus in your reading. That is you understanding this journey, learning something, gaining knowledge from where you are going, how you travel, what decisions you made, what you did, how you moved, and you're just going, you know what? I have learned so much from this journey, and I understand now how, what it takes from me and what it takes from anybody to get their life to become the King of Pentacles. You're going to carry that wisdom, carry that understanding of, oh, this is what it takes. That's what it means to move yourself from this way of life to that way of life, Hierophant. And you're going to carry that with you through the rest of your life. And because of that, <coughs> you will be able to do so much more for yourself. You're going to be able to change and do so many more different things because you're carrying that one energy. Otherwise, there we go. Thank you so much, Aries, for being here. This is a beautiful reading. You're going to be very successful in something here. That's all I can say. Do not be afraid. Go for it what your heart is telling you to do. And surprise yourself and everybody else around you. There we go. I'm sending my love to you, Aries. I will see you next time. Bye.